what's up y'all welcome back to the channel so i'm so excited about today's video because this is the first official mod i have done on my new bike yes i'm also excited because this video is being sponsored by hogworks hogworks sent over a standard engine guard for me to switch out my chopped engine guard in preparation for the lower fairings and billiard teal that they're sending later and the lights that will go into the fairings so while we wait for that let's go ahead and get things prepped and do this engine guard switch out so I have a 2021 Road Glide Special that comes with a chopped engine guard. In order to install my lower fairings, I had to get a standard engine guard and a fairing support kit, both of which I received from Hogworks. So this is a new bike to me, okay? New brand, new everything. So I had to make sure that I had the correct bits in my toolbox. I had to make sure I had the right tools. I had to figure out how to get the fairing off. It was a, a little bit of a learning curve before I could get this install done, but it's all good because with each install comes a new lesson. So I had a little hiccup right here because the bolt on the left actually got stripped, which was really weird because the one on the right came out perfectly the bit fit perfect so I don't know what went wrong but it ended up being okay because I was able to slip the chopped engine guard off as you see me doing right here and I don't need that bolt to install the standard engine guard so now I'm taking out the top bolt underneath the fairing and it was a little bit of a struggle as you can see but I ended up getting it y'all I got it now I know I will probably never, ever, ever, ever in my life ever say this again, but I really was looking forward to taking this fairing off because I wanted to see how much work would go into it because taking the fairing off of my Vaquero was so tedious. Like I just hated it every time. Every time I had to go under the hood, I just, I hated it. Taking it off, putting it on, I hated it. But this process, was a lot easier and i think it's just because the bolts were in more accessible locations like on the on the vaquero you had bolts up under the fairing that you had to get down and and find and so this this was a lot more seamless a lot more seamless And this is the first time I've taken my fairing off of my road glide. Yes, you see it. <laughs> so now I have to take off that top support bar. And that's the reason why I had to take the fairing off because you access the bolts underneath the fairing. So believe me, taking it off was not by choice. But here we are taking it off. And that was really easy. Just two bolts, well, three bolts holding it down and voila. So this is the fairing support kit and I was, I don't know what I expected these to feel like, but these are really heavy and very thick, like very well made. So you have to have these in order to install the standard engine guard. So of course I had to get those two. Out with the old and in with the new so here's my new standard engine guard and i'm just installing it right where the original chopped engine guard came out of so the exact same bolts that bolt is in a really awkward place so i'm sure taking the floorboards off would help access it a little bit better but it wasn't it wasn't bad at all so once I had the new engine guard in place and the bolts hand tightened I went in and added my fairing support kit pieces and bolted those in on both sides hand tightened now i made a little boo-boo right here and if you're looking closely and you know what you're doing you can probably see where i messed up but i'm gonna fix this when i get the lower fairings and i'm going to adjust this to be in the correct position because <laughs> i'm pretty sure it needs to be in the correct positions to get those fairings on so that'll be in the next video and i'll update you on that change but uh yeah that was definitely in the wrong place it should be behind not in front 
I've said this in previous videos, but working on my bike helps me learn my bike. And making mistakes makes me learn it that much more because I'm never gonna make that mistake again because then you gotta undo what you just spent an hour doing. So y'all heard me say it before in this video. It's a lesson, working on my bike is a lesson. So we gonna get that fixed in preparation for these lower fairings. But for right now, the engine guard is in place. So again, shout out to Hogworks for sending over this engine guard. I will leave the links in the description for you to go get your engine guard and your fairing support kit. And y'all let me know how your installs go if you decide to do this. But until then, thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for rolling with me. And until next time for the next ride, bye y'all.